Hey everybody, welcome to Fantastic Comics in Berkeley, California. My name is Yule, and in This Week in Comics, we spotlight the four books I'm looking forward to reading. That's good enough, right? This week we'll be looking at Spy Seal number two. Rick and Morty Pocket Like You Stole It number three, Mr. Miracle number two, and Runaways number one. Spy Seal number two is an image comic written and drawn by Rich Tomaso. So Spy Seal is an anthropomorphic comic. Anthropomorphic comics are fun to say and not really ones I like to read. But this is the exception. Rich Tommaso did Dark Quarter recently from Image Comics a couple years ago, and that was fantastic. So I'm on board regardless. It's kind of like a James Bond-like adventure, um, maybe with like a little bit of Prisoner thrown in. The covers are fantastic. Those alone are worth buying the comic. Uh, and let's give this one a try. Uh, it, uh, it deserves it. Rick and Morty Pocket Like You Stole It number three is a mini series from written by Teeny Howard and drawn by Mark Ellerby. There's only uh, two more issues to go after this one. I highly recommend it. I'm not that into reading cartoon comic books, but my girlfriend bought it and brought it home. I forced her to buy comics. I forced her to buy Rick and Morty. And I read it before her because I forced her to buy these comics. Um, anyhow, it is very much, it very much captures the feel and the voice of the characters where Morty is trying to save all these other Mortys from an evil Rick and he keeps encountering different Ricks, which uh, cause him all sorts of problems. I recommend it. If you're a fan of the TV show, it's the next best thing. Mr. Miracle number two is a DC comic written by Tom King with art by Mitch Gerards. When Mr. Miracle number one came out, we were on a hiatus, so I wasn't able to express my feelings for the comic that was about to come out. And then everybody and their mother was talking about how great this book was, and I cried a little inside. Um, number two is coming out. I highly recommend getting it. It features Mr. Miracle, title character. He's a new god, a Kirby creation, and he is an escape artist. He's the best escape artist. He can escape from any prison. And he decides that there is one prison that he might not be able to escape, and that's death. So there's a, slit, sl a wrist slitting scene. And the comic follows everything that occurs after. Or maybe it's instantaneously as it happens. Or who knows what. It could be a dream state. Uh, all sorts of things. I highly recommend this. Tom King wrote The Vision for Marvel. He wrote Omega Men for DC. Both books you have to read. This book is going to be in the same class of books. You'll be talking about it for years. You'll be showing people. It's got really good art. It's got a really great story. Mitch Gerard's art is fantastic. Tom King's writing is superlative. He's on point with this. Uh, I really expect great things from this book as it goes on. It's a maxi series, so it's 12 issues long. The first issue, uh, it went out of print. It's coming back in print. It'll be back on the same day as number two. Highly recommend it. Runaways number one is a comic from Marvel Comics. It is written by Rainbow Rowell and it is drawn by Chris Onka. So, anybody that doesn't know Runaways has to know that Brian K. Vaughn created it. He's the creator of Saga and wrote Why the Last Man. And the Runaways are kids that found out that their parents were supervillains, so they ran away to try and bring them to justice. There's been a few other iterations over the years, but this new one is starting up and it's going to be drawn by Chris Anka, who I totally dig. His artwork is very reminiscent of Paul Smith 
mostly like the stuff from his X-Men and Doctor Strange runs. He has a real nice, not, uh, it's not a crazy line, it's just, it's a nice soft approach at drawing characters and I really dig it and I think he's really good at team books so this is definitely one to get. Thanks everybody for watching. We really appreciate it. If you're interested in getting a signed copy of Runaways number one, comment down below because this Saturday at five, Kevin Wada and artist Chris Anka are gonna be signing here. Show up if you can. And like I said, sign up if you're interested. We'll see you next week. Oh, I want to do US only.